Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue with the house loan calculation that I've started in the previous demonstrations. I'm going to add the cost for water to my house. And um, this is actually the same, so I can just go ahead and copy both of these columns down here. And as you see, it does the calculation here in the C column, but it actually filled 100 to 101. So it thinks that I'm building a series here. I'm actually not. So, so um, I can just go ahead and change that value and it all works out. There are, of course, going to be more rows of different kinds of costs for your house here, but I think you got the point of how I set that up for you. My next point is here is actually doing a summary. Well, actually, we should do the interests first because they're an important part. And let's say we have a 4% interest rate. And that's, of course, an input value and the interest and then I'll do the math here and do that loan that's how much I'm borrowing multiplied by that um, interest rate right so 6,000 but that's actually the yearly one so I'm just gonna go ahead and divide that by 12 and get me the monthly that's 500 a month perfect and then I can just go ahead and do that and I get 6,000 a year in interest. Move that up to here. Notice how I did that. I selected and then uh, took the little edge and pulled that up there. There we go. And again, I can also, of course, insert rows there. And I want that formatting right there. Nice and tidy. That's a calculation, so I want to put that there. And now I want to do a summary of all this. And to do a summary, of course, you can do the equals. And there are lots of different ways of doing it. So let's, let me show you the quick, easy one, uh, and then I'll show you some rather more complicated ones. First, the quick and easy, out of sum there, and it picks up that it's probably the rows above that you want to summarize, and that works just beautifully. That's a calculation right there. So that works rather beautifully. And also picked up that the next one here is actually multiplied by 12 too, so that works rather beautifully. So that's an easy way of doing it. Another way of doing it, I'm just going to control Z back to the original state. Control Z, remember that was undo. Another way of doing it is just typing in the value there, the sum of all these things. Very easy way to do the sum calculation. And now it's actually auto-filling in the next column. So it's doing that too. That's a rather beautiful Excel feature there. It tries to understand what I'm doing. You can also, if you want to get even more specific, you can do this one, that plus, that plus, that plus, that. It's the same math, then it works just the same. I'm going to remove these numbers right there. Then I'm going to select all of this and the empty row there. I'm just going to press the auto sum there. And as you see, it summarizes all that. It's doing the sum and it's doing a sum there now too. So it's putting auto sums in the empty cells that I just selected. I need to fix the formatting on that though, make it a calculation. And there's something wrong with the border, so let's copy the formatting, there we go. And let's actually make those in bold also, maybe a bit larger. There we go. Thank you for watching this third demonstration on the house loan calculation.